Hi guys, today we're looking at writing paragraphs, how and when to use them. So paragraphs are basically bite-sized chunks of writing and they help us to organise our ideas. They can be just one sentence, usually if you're trying to create an effect, but it's actually usually a group of sentences that are all based on the same topic. Hopefully this is just a reminder, but we use paragraphs for a change of place, time, topic, change of speaker, or just for dramatic effect. Sometimes making up a mnemonic to help you remember this is quite a good idea, as my example. Now, just like that delicious, juicy Big Mac, uh, a good paragraph actually needs two main things to kind of hold it together. It's bread buns, in effect. You need your topic sentence, which contains your main idea, and you need your concluding sentence. What goes in the middle are your detailed sentences and the tasty bit. Just a visual sort of reminder of that. Now, topic of a paragraph is often introduced by a key sentence, and we call that often in English the topic sentence. What that usually contains is the main idea of the paragraph, what you're going to talk about in that paragraph. And that's followed up with some supporting or detailed sentences. And they provide a few more details, um, and sometimes just a bit of general information about the topic sentence. Then you've got your concluding sentence, and this kind of closes the paragraph. Um, it might repeat the topic in a different way, or it might express a personal viewpoint. Okay, putting it all together then. Topic sentence, supporting sentences, concluding sentences. Okay, so then your paragraph checklist is that you have a new paragraph for a change of place, time, topic, speaker, or for effect. Paragraph should always have a topic sentence, detail, and a concluding sentence. You should always make it clear that you've started a new paragraph by starting it on a new line. And always remember, capital letters at the start and a full stop at the end.